creativity. Oh. You know, Carl Sagan wrote a brilliant piece on marijuana and why he uses marijuana. And just look up if you want to find really? it. Just look, yeah, just look up for the people listening at home. Carl Sagan, marijuana, and it was a sort of a lifelong ode to marijuana, and that he was a daily cannabis smoker. Really? Yeah, and that he said that what he had learned from marijuana that there was there was some real lessons that he brought back from that state of consciousness that he could apply to uh to other uh aspects of his life that he could actually learn things that he believed weren't learnable like weren't weren't available to him this thought was not available to him without cannabis this is his oh, his belief and this yeah. is you know carl sagan's a great mind a fascinating person you know a guy who turns so many people onto cosmology and his you know his words were so you know there's so much of what he said was so appealing that they've t they've taken a lot of it and put it on videos where they show like space and then he'll be like going on some sort oh, yeah. of a rant about the the size of the cosmos or some incredible you know, music. yeah and you know and they'd be so hypnotic so guys like that are you know and, and people will argue that he wasn't the most brilliant scientist ever and what did he actually accomplish First of in all, science was any scientist is smarter than you yeah for, for most people like, right yeah yeah and on top of that like you can't deny his contribution by getting people excited about astronomy mm -hmm. you know I mean? oh yeah people know i know yeah. his name how many yeah. scientists name do i know yeah jesus christ you know stephen Louis hawking Pastor? yeah <laughs> um <laughs> this guy who made peanut butter yeah there's there's not that many man there's a small amount so of, he says he couldn't have done certain things without yeah without, yeah his, we, his exact quote i would bring it but my and that your version of that is the flying squirrel pussy people <laughs> but exactly you, there's no way i can come up without without weed it's true i i'm uh I, I believe that there's there's reasons why all this stuff is around that's what i believe i believe there's reasons why there's you know, every different substance that exists on the planet. There's, yeah. there's reasons why there's coffee beans. I believe But what does that, that mean? Does that mean everything has to be good for you? There's yeah, reasons. No. It's just, there's, there's things that are terrible for you, you know? Like there's quicksand. Strychnine. There's, there's, there's plants that are, that'll kill you. You eat yeah. those plants, you'll fucking die. So what are the reasons for that? Oh, but there they, has that to be ecosystem is probably not connected to me, man, you know? But uh -huh. everything else that is connected to you, you should be aware of. And when, when someone like Carl Sagan tells you that cannabis connects you to the universe and it makes you look at things in a different light and it makes you, you know, uh, a more sensitive person, it makes you more creative and, it, you know, it's helped him I think with it's, a million different thoughts. I know? think it's easy for people to just so blow off with those people. So like, whatever, hippie yeah. or whatever. But then it's like, okay, but think, what if... A guy was right. Would right. he possibly be a scientist that everyone's heard of? Well, that's Maybe he's right. People think about it. will get upset at me if I talk about pot too much. Like, dude, you're always talking about pot. Like, you need to lay off the pot talk. Look, I'm only telling you this because it's of benefit. It helps, There's and it's helped me. And I think that if you just approach it with discipline, it can be spectacular for your life. And I think that what it can do is that it can enhance your life. And I, I really, truly believe that, man.